Welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, here are the stories you need to know about today. This morning, investigators are piecing together the details of a traffic crash which killed one motorcyclist. Chico police say an elderly woman drove the wrong way southbound on Forest Avenue Wednesday afternoon. Police say she hit the motorcyclist head on before hitting two other vehicles. The name of the motorcyclist is not being released pending notification of family. Reading police are on the hunt for a man who robbed the Bigfoot recycling on West Side Road Wednesday morning. Police say the suspect sprayed a cashier with a can of mace, took the cash drawer, and ran off. Officers say the suspect changed his clothes in a nearby fast food restaurant before leaving the area. A paraglider crashed into some power lines in Olivehurst Wednesday night. Crews were on the scene for more than three hours before that paraglider was freed, and during the rescue, the man hanging from the power lines was awake and talking to first responders. The incident caused over 2,000 people in the area to lose power as crews worked to save the man and get the power back on. President Trump has signed a presidential memorandum on developing and delivering more water supplies to California. Environmentalists argue changing water distribution will harm already threatened habitat and fish species. In a statement, Governor Newsom said his office will file legal action to challenge this federal move. New developments in that library fire, which killed at least one firefighter. Police in Porterville have arrested two 13-year-olds who are now facing charges of arson and manslaughter. The teens are suspected of starting that fire, which killed a 35-year-old firefighter, and another firefighter is missing. Eleven people, including the gunman, are dead in Germany after what investigators are calling a coordinated gun attack at two separate hookah bars Wednesday night. Federal investigators say they believe that attack was premeditated and the shooter may have been motivated by far-right beliefs. And new this morning, health representatives are confirming a new case of coronavirus. This one among people evacuated from that cruise ship in Japan and being held at Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield. That patient is now in quarantine. The clock is ticking on the fundraising goals for the Las Plumas Orville Alliance Band for its high school musicians to make it to a performance at New York's Carnegie Hall. The deadline to raise the $210,000 is this Sunday. The musicians received an invite for that Carnegie Hall performance, which is April 11th, but here's the catch. They have to make that fundraising goal in order to make the trip. Their band director tells Action News Now they are still $6,500 short. And a new group is aiming to help visitors get the most out of Butte County. The county certified a new group of tourism ambassadors. Tourism, in case you didn't know, generates millions of dollars every year for the local economy. There are now 66 certified tourism ambassadors. The goal is to have 250 by the end of the year. The most recent training included people from California State Parks, the Paradise Ridge Chamber of Commerce, downtown Chico ambassadors, and local hotel workers. We do have a link to the Tourism Ambassador Program on our website, actionnewsnow.com. Look under the News tab and then News Links. And back 